Sit right there. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the journey. First off, I want to apologize for the delay in getting this video posted. It has been an insanely busy week for me at work. I haven't had much free time, so I wasn't able to get it recorded. But here it is, Saturday, a couple days late, getting this video recorded and hopefully up here in the next hour or so. But we'll have to wait and see how that goes. As I said, things at work have been quite busy. A lot of things going on, shorthanded. I'm trying to get somebody hired and trained, and I've been working extra shifts. So, yep, things have been quite hectic. But all in all, things have ended quite well. I've got somebody trained now. They started yesterday, and it looks like they're going to be okay. So hopefully, I won't have to worry about this situation again for a long time. But over the course of the last week, there's really not a whole lot to talk about. Um, I did get a few things accomplished, but uh, nothing really exciting. I did try and do a silver pour, and it went tragically wrong. And what had happened was, well, I ended up popping a hole in the bottom of my crucible. And when that happens, of course, the silver doesn't end up in what you're trying to pour into. It ends up in the bottom of the furnace. And that's exactly what happened. All right, well, I did a pour I was working on, and my crucible popped a hole in it. And so you can see, I'm taking my, my furnace apart. You see the silver stuck down there in the bottom, and it actually went all the way through. So there is silver protruding from the bottom. So I'm gonna have to take this entire thing apart. I'll have to wait and see how this will go. As you can see here, it's down inside of it. And here's a few pictures of me stripping it apart, trying to get little pieces of silver and things out. At this moment, I haven't got it completely finished yet. I got as much as I can for the moment. Now I've got to put it all back together and figure out how to get it out the bottom. The only thing I can figure out is to melt it out, but we're going to find out soon enough. Normally I go to the coin shops on Friday, but of course I was covering shifts at the store. So I was not able to go Friday or Saturday. But on Monday, I did make the rounds. Over at Candle Coin and Stamps, they really didn't have a whole lot that I was interested in, but I did pick up a couple capsules that were needed. And on Monday, Silver Eagles actually closed, so there was no point in me going by there. But first thing that morning, I did go by and see Mr. Warren, and I did pick up a couple things. And what I had gotten was a couple bars, and those were these two Inglehard bars. I have one, but this is the first ones that I found like this. So that's pretty awesome. They're nice little bars in pretty good shape. And of course, I stopped by Candle Coin to pick up the capsules because I was already out. But it was nice to get them. I got these for $25 a piece. Not horrible, even though, you know, spots is at the time was somewhere around $21.50. But I was happy to pick them up. So I do have those here. As you can see, I do have a little bit of a change of scenery. This is actually the desk that uh, my computer sits at. Well, one of my computers. And uh, so we're doing it here today just for extra convenience. But when it all boils down to it, that's actually all that's happened. I've been working a lot, covering extra shifts at the store and doing interviews, trying to get somebody hired. They actually started on their training on Tuesday and throughout the week, they've done pretty good. And they started on their own yesterday. So hopefully all that's squared away. So over the course of the week, I did just pick up these two ounces and these are going to go into the guardhouse box. And so since we're already here, give me a minute, I'll grab that box. We'll go ahead and get these in there. All right, so here we go. As you can see, we still need one, two, three, four, five, six to finish the box. So let's go ahead and put these two in there. A nice new home. And that means I only need four to complete. So that's looking fantastic. Hopefully we can get it done soon. But uh, yeah, money has been quite tight here lately. So I haven't been able to buy a whole lot of extra. And at the same time, I'm trying to save up for that ounce of gold. So I'm kind of pushing towards, uh, leaning towards the, the goal itself. So this might take a little longer than expected, but we'll have to wait and see. I do got a few things that I'm trying to get rid of, sell stuff that has been sitting around for a couple of years and uh, they're just kind of in the way anyway. So I'd like to sell those and convert that money into metals, but we'll see how that goes. So there you go. Nice short video. Not a whole lot to talk about this week because of so much work, but we did get a couple of ounces of silver and that's always a good thing. So, as always, I thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this video. Remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. And as always, remember to follow along on my solar journey. We'll see you in the next one. God bless.